church. I have 79 years old <laughs> and I worked with Mercedes when I was 20. Here is my son, my grandson, Daniel. Yes, Daniel. So we are here to work in this beautiful car. We've Mercedes. been in this location for uh, 20 years. Our other location, we were there uh, 25 years. So we've been in business since 1981. So we have this beautiful 1972 280 SC 4.5 that uh, we have in the shop. And we're getting it ready for a long trip for our customer. And we've been checking it out and doing some work on it. It's the original paint, which is amazing. Uh, we checked all the uh, chrome, the seals, and there's no overspray on the car. It's just a fabulous car. The um, interior is original. It's held up extremely well. It's got the tobacco leather inside. Just a beautiful car. It's got the sunroof on with it. It was a great option. And we're doing some work on the suspension. We're redoing the radiator on it, we put new belts. We're doing the motor mounts, subframe mounts. We're putting new belts on it, like I said. But it's just an ab absolute beautiful car. It's going to California. And uh, it belongs in California, because this is a California Hollywood showstopper right here. So we already replaced the uh, front window regulators on it. They were bad. We Customer found the original ones, OEM, so we installed those. We're waiting on a clip on the driver's side. I call that the uh, slide shoe clip. It was missing, so we got the panel off. But what's amazing is, I'm gonna go to the trunk and get those panels. Just, just the way after 50 years, how these doors just shut. I mean, that's just, just incredible. That's what's beautiful about these classic Mercedes 108s. Look at that door. I mean, <laughs> it's got real metal in these things. Just, just absolutely gorgeous. The uh, door panel here. I mean, you can see the quality in this. Look at this leather. Look at that. 52 years old. Look at that, it's just perfect. It's not cracked. Look at the backing, what they did here. I mean, that's really solid. Looks like particle board. But look at the clips. These are original clips on here, and they're still in great shape. Just a solid car all the way around. The trunk is beautiful. This is the original tire. The original tire on the spare what we got here oh that's the original radio yeah that's awesome that's awesome I'll put that right here yeah that's the face plate yep that's great that's totally awesome Look at that. that's the original radio all right, so we're working on Mr. Shovik's 280 SC 4.5, 1972. Uh, one of the things that was, um, we had a complaint was the steering was real loose. So if you have that issue where you're in the car and you're hearing a clicking noise when you're driving left to right and it's sloppy, what's going on is you have an issue with the steering coupler. You can see it right here. The steering coupler is between the gearbox and the shaft you see there's a rubber bushing that's in here and it's just over the years it just disintegrates from the heat and age so we need to change this coupling out of here and that'll take care of a lot of the slop and, and the noise we're doing that we're going to do the uh, subframe mounts on it motor mounts the motor mounts are collapsed on it as well uh, subframe mounts are right here there are two rubber bushings on a mount so we're going to change those out and then the motor mounts as well are split on it. So we're gonna take care of that. So get this baby back on the road, driving smoothly and 
and uh, engine sitting level. So um, the plan is to get it done this week and Mr. Shovik's going to drive it to California on a road trip. So I want to make sure everything is operating correctly. Uh, before he does that, we'll probably drive it maybe 30, 40 miles and just check everything, make sure everything's nice. So yeah, these are the subframe mounts right here. You have four bolts here and then underneath there's another bolt that attaches to. So let's go up with the car. We can inspect the bottom. All right, so... We um, we took the radiator out because it had a leak. We're, we're going to rot it out and clean it on the inside and get it restored. Check for leaks on us. We're going to put that back. Uh, we have our motor mounts right here that they'll be changed. They, um, they're split in half. They're probably maybe second or third on the car. It's a fairly low mileage car. Uh, it's been sitting for many, many years. Uh, there's hardly any rust on it. The body's extremely solid. The exhaust, somebody's replaced and, and put a genuine exhaust system from Mercedes. The center resonator is Mercedes. You can see the part number 109-491-0301. That's Mercedes. And the rear muffler is also a Mercedes 109-491-1001. That's the part number. Um, gas tank is perfect shape. You know, somebody's already replaced the fuel pump, fuel filter, rear shocks. But uh, overall, it's just a rust free car for the year. So, we're going to do the transmission mount as well. And, um, you know, just check all the fluids and see what needs to be changed on it as far as fluids. But overall, it's a uh, solid, solid car. This looks new. Yeah, the drag links, excuse me, the steering shock's been changed. It's uh, that's kind of common thing to go on them. They they leak hydraulic oil out of it. It's just basically mm -hmm. a small shock to keep the steering wheel from, you know, vibrating. So. So this doesn't look good, Larry. What is this? So we got going on here is we got a little bit of transmission, uh, transmission leak, and where this is coming from is from the front pump seal. Mm -hmm. It's not the front seal that leaks, but there's a pump on the inside. Of the, there's a pump, and there's a big O-ring around that pump, and that O-ring dr dries out over the years, and then it just starts leaking. So um, that needs to be changed when you get to your final destination, because we're not going to have time to do it now. But, um, you know, it, it's kind of common. It's not some ordinary. Everything else looks really dry on the transmission. That's the only only leak that we, we have. Okay, so, this is the part that worries me. So we have the the front rocker panel on the car, which is very common on these Mercedes to start rusting there. Uh, water splashes from the wheel moving forward and snow and whatever debris. So Mercedes years ago, they used an undercoating and what happens that undercoating dries out and water and mud and everything else gets behind it and just starts rusting it. So, I mean, this is kind of just normal, a normal area that they rust, which is not a big deal. You just have a little, it's gonna need a small little patch. I would sand blast this, bead blast it, whatever, media blast, whatever they use. Um, clean it, get all this undercoating off here, clean it really well, uh, neutralize any of the rust, and then I would put a small patch in here. It's, it's not that difficult. We have a little bit of hole here as well. I think that's from um, also the undercoating deteriorating and then water and snow, mud that gets trapped between the undercoating and metal and eventually it starts rusting. But like I said, not a big deal. The front frame rails, you know, they're all solid. There's nothing wrong with those. They, they tend to rust here the, as well. These are the top frames, right? Yeah, this is the subframe mount right here. Oh, that, see, does, that looks horrible. You can see how it's just, uh, you know, mm -hmm. dry rotted and it pulled apart. Okay. So we need to do that. But like What do you said, think of the brakes, Larry? Brakes are brand new. Somebody's already put brake pads on here. They put brake hoses on it. When I drove it, it, 
it stopped really nice, solid, so no issues with the brakes. The brake rotors look nice, not a groove on there. I think they replaced those as well. But uh, the calipers are free. They're spinning. Rotors are spinning nicely, so we don't have an issue with the caliper sticking. So this side is uh, solid in front of the rocker panel. There's no, no rust whatsoever. Still amazing. It has the, uh, the little grommets, the protective pieces that they came from factory. And this is the jack point. If you have a flat, that's where your jack goes. And they have these little covers to keep water and you know mud going inside. I rarely see these. This is the first car I've seen where they're still on the car. So this one's still intact. So uh, uh, do you think they're available? Can uh, I... No, I, I guarantee they're not available. I'd be shocked if they're available. So mm -hmm. that's kind of a special thing to have those still on the car. So, but yeah, it's everything's solid here. There's not any rust here, you know, which is amazing. Rear brakes look fine um, they've been changed at some point uh, they'll make the trip but yeah body is perfect on it it's straight original paint for for a car 72 it's just amazing that just looks like something from the road maybe asphalt one on the road and it just threw up in here that's mm -hmm. what that is it's nothing it just needs to be cleaned off of there but it's not hurting anything yeah, that's just maybe concrete or something. Concrete or asphalt. They're mm. they're paving the road, and he just went through it, and it just slung it up in here. But that's that's nothing, nothing to be concerned about. So this is the left side rail, the bumper rail, or and they're usually you see them rusted out, but this one is very solid. It's no rust whatsoever. We'll drop the car down and look at the interior. And, uh, check it out. The chrome's in excellent shape on it. The front grille is beautiful. It has plenty of sheen on it. See the chrome on it, it's just that's a beautiful grill. That's a you see this baby coming down the street, you know it's a classic with that grill. So the interior, like we said, is a tobacco leather. And it's the back seats are are just perfect. I mean it's just incredible. These are the original seats back here um, we have a car of this year and you can see the pleats are just perfect and I don't think these have been ever changed they're just the, the original leather and it's soft back here it's not dry rotted or anything you have the armrest here I mean that's just that's just gorgeous and what's great about these old ones, the newer ones, this backing piece, this cover, is vinyl. They don't, they don't want to use leather, but this is all leather here. This is full leather, so that's great. Okay, so, you, have, um, you have the passenger seat that's showing a little bit of, of wear from just normal wear. You can see this pleat is torn a little bit, but not too bad overall. Do you think we can fix those, Larry? Um, you can buy the leather. I mean, you can just change maybe a cut just to keep it original, you know, because this is in good shape here, the center part. So, you know, you can always do that if you want to just keep it original. Um, obviously, the armrests are original here. They, have, they show a little bit of wear, but overall, they're in great shape. This seat here it's been it's been redone 
Now the headrest is the original leather. You can see the difference between this and this. This is just vinyl. Somebody's redone. Um, it looks okay, but it's it's going to need to be uh, reupholstered with original leather. You can get that from several companies out in California. They they're on a line. The headliner uh, is just amazing. It does have a sunroof on it, which does work. I'll try that right now. Slides perfectly, no noises. The headliner in here is absolutely 100% original and just great shape. All right, so that's Larry from GR Auto here in Houston, in Cypress, Texas. Is it Cypress or? Spring, Spring Texas. Spring, Texas. Yeah. So I found Larry online, and uh, these guys are very highly recommended. There are a lot of guys writing about many uh, other garages, but he's the one that everybody pointed me to. So here we are with Larry, and this is my 280 SE 4.5. Enjoy it and many years to uh, happy driving with it in California. Thanks, thanks, Larry.